You might be trying Chinese herbs or acupuncture for the first time, and you don't know if it can help you. Maybe you have a complex digestive illness or fibromyalgia or something else complicated going on, and you've heard all these things, but you don't know what the truth is. You're wondering, do I just go for one treatment? Do I go for three, for five? Like, how long does it take to get better? In this video, I want to share really what are the top 10 most common things, common conditions that acupuncturists and Chinese medical doctors treat and get results for. So if you have one of these and you're thinking of it, hopefully this should be a green light to at least try it because there's a lot of evidence that it works for it and we have a lot of experience treating these things. Hey, I'm Alex Hine, current doctoral student in traditional or classical Chinese medicine, author of the book Master the Day. Before we go on, I've actually included a free cheat sheet down below a beginner's guide on how to add 10 years to your life with traditional or classical Chinese medicine. It's right there in the description box, alexhine.com forward slash free. That'll bring you to a page and you just punch in your email and you'll get that there. So go check that out. So the Oregon College of Oriental Medicine, a school like a sister school of mine here in Oregon, did a study on the top 10 conditions that their students see in the teaching clinic, as well as what they see in their clinical practice later. And these are the top 10 conditions that they see typically first. So the students tend to see number one, musculoskeletal pain, two, anxiety, three, fatigue, four, headaches of various kinds, five, digestive conditions, six, depression, seven, women's health, eight, insomnia, nine, skin problems, and 10, frequent sore throat, cold cough, upper respiratory infections. Now, in terms of the conditions that are successfully treated of the patients in private practice after, these are the top 10 that acupuncturists generally nationwide tend to see and treat quite a lot. The first one here, again, is pain. The second one is women's health. The third one is emotional disorders, stress, PTSD, things like that. The fourth is digestive conditions. The fifth is musculoskeletal disorders and pain. The sixth is allergies. The seventh is insomnia. The eighth is stress-related pathologies. The ninth is respiratory disorders. And the tenth is acute injuries. So typically, again, we're thinking of pain or inflammation. So again, that's just kind of like the down and dirty, the top 10 list of what we tend to see in practice and what really nationwide we tend to see as acupuncturists or Chinese medicine doctors. So obviously, if you have something on that list, great, go see an acupuncturist. If you don't, I still would. You know, this is just to me trying to present to you the research so that you can have a little bit more confidence and understanding, but we treat all kinds of complex pathology too. And it really is up to the practitioner or the doctor and their training regarding whether or not they can help you successfully treat that condition. So again, before you go, check out that list down there below. It is five daily habits to help you add 10 years to your life with traditional or classical Chinese medicine, my own tips there below. And you can check out my last two videos right here and right here.